Hi and welcome back. In this video, we will be implementing our HTML template. So let's open views file inside home app. Then here in our index function, instead of returning an HTTP response, let's now return render function. And it will take in request as its first positional argument, followed by template name, home slash index dot html our index file will be stored inside templates folder but inside another folder called home i like grouping all my template files based on the name of their app so inside templates folder let's create a new directory called home Now we can create our index.html file inside this home folder. Let's just have an h1 with the message, this is home, just to test it. Go to the browser and refresh the page. And we gear the message, this is home, meaning our template is being rendered quite okay. Now let's implement the real template. Open this HTML template inside another code editor. I'm opening mine inside Sublime Text. Then open this file, index.html. Now copy everything from this file and go back to PyCharm. Delete everything on this file and paste what you just copied from Sublime Text. Back to the browser, then refresh this page. And everything is okay, but the styling is not working. So let's fix that next. Go back to index.html file. At the beginning of the file, use templating tags, the load static like this. and scroll to where we have link our CSS files here. Then first let's check our static folder and see how our subdirectories are structured. And as you can see, our CSS folder is inside static folder. So here, let's remove from here static and assets, then opening templating tags, followed by static. Then let's wrap this inside parenthesis then closing templating tags. This is how we reference our static files in Django. We need to do the same to all CSS files. Let me do this faster. Then I will be back. Now that's done, open the browser, then let's refresh this page. And as you can see, CSS is now working well. Let's now go back to PyCharm and also do the same to JavaScript files. Scroll to where JS files start and do the same as CSS. JS is also done. Go back to browser and test, refresh the browser, and JavaScript is also working. Let's go back to FICOM again 
and deal with images now. Look for all images and reference them the same way we did for CSS and JS files. I think we are now done. Let's go back to the browser and see it's now working also. But it seemed I missed this. Let me check. I think everything is done now, and I will test it in the browser. And as you can see, all is working now. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching. Until the end, see you in the next one.